Ron Howard, are you ready to tell me about your first time? <laughs> a first time of what? What was the first film you remember seeing in theaters? It was a movie that my father, Rance Howard, who's still acting, mm -hmm. uh, was in. He was playing the bad guy in a very low budget Western called Frontier Woman. <laughs> but the first big movie that I saw was actually in, in London and it was on the huge screen in Leicester Square, and it was Around the World in 80 Days, which oh, was this yeah. big, glamorous, epic, mm -hmm. you know, w w continent hopping uh, entertainment. I think even then, I got this impression that movies could be an adventure. Was that the first time you felt inspired to tell your own stories, or do you remember when that happened? That, that was later, you know, I was a child actor, and so yeah. I was around this process uh, on The Andy Griffith Show and other, other, other shows of this creative problem solving. And by the time I was, uh, you know, eight or nine years old, if people asked me what I wanted to do when I grew up, I, I would say I wanted to be an actor, writer, producer, director, cameraman, wow. and baseball player. Wow, uh, so you've uh, almost done all of those. Uh, well, the, yeah, later they started throwing these hard curveballs and sliders, and, I, <laughs> and the baseball idea faded away pretty quickly. But the dream of telling the story and being the one who's involved in all the facets of it that became my uh, pa my real passion. What was the first time you met Tom Hanks? The first time I actually met him was a Happy Days softball tour. Yeah. We used to go around and play these uh, these games, and I left the show, but I would still be on the softball team. <laughs> and Tom Hanks, who was starring in Bosom Buddies, which was produced by the same team, uh, was part of it. That's the first time I met him. But it was really uh, the movie Splash, where he came in and auditioned, ultimately the supporting part that John Candy played. Oh, right. But he was just on fire. He was funny, he was, you could just tell that he was uh, just so multi-dimensional and so smart. And I asked him to come back and read for the lead. And lo and behold, the studio, Disney, accepted the idea of this more or less unknown TV actor being the lead of this movie. And it was a great moment in my uh, career and all these years later, still working with him. So what was the first time like walking onto the set of Inferno, the first day of Inferno? You've been doing all this planning and so forth, and then the first day you're finally rolling cameras is a kind of a, uh, you, you feel like it's, somebody ought to smash a bottle across the hull of the ship because you feel like you're going on a voyage. And after that, what's the first thing you do for yourself when you wrap on a big production like Inferno? I used to just fall down and get the flu and sleep for three days and, yeah. and, and then have, and now, I, for some reason, directing is, is getting easier for me. Now, maybe it's just because all my kids are raised, and I used to also try to have to help my wife Cheryl out with like getting the kids to school and homework and all, you know. Yeah. But now, a movie is over, and I'm eager to go right to the editing room and continue the process, and it's just it's a way of life uh, for me, and it's, I don't find it as exhausting. Well, this is my second time interviewing you, but it was just as good as my first time. So oh, thank you so much, oh, Ron oh, Thank you very much. <laughs>